morning, good afternoon, and good evening. This is Pamela, and you are watching Pam Entertainment TV, where we review movies, television series, and incidents in pop culture to see how those incidents affect our daily lives. And if you are enjoying this content, please give me a like, thumbs up. Also, subscribe to the channel. It's free 99. And uh, if you hit that notification bell, you will be in notified when I upload a video, and you do not want to miss that. Okay, okay. So listen to what we're doing today. Y'all, we have reached the end and we are about to go into the season finale of Bel Air. So I wanted to take this time to kind of uh, just go over my thoughts so far about how I think the series has gone. Give some of my predictions for the, uh, the season finale. Uh, we haven't, uh, the, the trailer hasn't dropped. I haven't seen it on Instagram. I haven't seen it on their website. So it hasn't dropped as of now, as I'm recording. But as soon as it drops, I'm going to see if, if some of the things that I have uh, talked about on this video has come to pass. Or can we predict what's going on as uh, from that, from that trailer. So, I've already done my review on Bel Air. Uh, for episode 9. So we're getting into episode 10. So um, my predictions uh, that we've had so far have come to pass. Uh, number one, I, as I had predicted, I did not think that uh, Philip was going to win the, uh, the DA election. Um, but I did not predict the fact that he was going to drop out, but I knew he wasn't going to win it. So, you know, it's, it's, it's half and half. He didn't win, but he didn't win because not because the people didn't vote, but were able to vote. He didn't win because he dropped out. Um, Aunt Viv is going to do the scholarship. He he told her to go ahead and do this finish the scholarship. So we saw in the last episode that Jeffrey that he fired Jeffrey. Jeffrey didn't quit. He fired Jeffrey. So with Aunt Viv going into this uh this fellowship, uh he's gonna need some help. He's not gonna be on the home front and not have no help. So he is going to call Jeffrey back. Um and I think he what he's going to do is he's gonna sit Jeffrey down and just go over what's going on with Lou and why he does not want to have Will to have contact with him. Now, they have hyped this Lou up and they have hyped this Lou up and they have hyped this Lou up. I'm thinking that Lou is the ultimate con man. I am thinking that Lou has connections, uh, this Lou right now. I think the Lou that they had come across before, uh, Oh, I don't want to say this. I think he got into different schemes and stuff and got into some trouble. And Uncle Phil had to bail him out. But I think that um, at this point, uh, because they had to bail him out, and I don't think he was treating Vi the way he needed to treat Vi, I think what has happened is that now Lou has become a made man. So... Basically, what I'm saying is that they probably ran him out of Philly. He probably had an agreement with Uncle Phil, Aunt Viv, and all of them. They ran him out of Philly. And that he's somewhere like in New York or Minnesota or somewhere. <laughs> I don't know why I said Minnesota like that. But he's somewhere right there. And I think, and this is what my prediction is, and I don't know if it's going to uh, come to pass uh, for season 10. But I know, she, it, I, I believe it's going to come to pass for the next episode for the next season is that we're going to find out because we we all are talking about 007 jeffrey and jeffrey running around he's the, the you know getting things done and making sure things are done i don't think that jeffrey had rashad killed i think that um and this is where i feel i think that will's father figured out that rashad had put a hit out on will and I think he took care of um, Rashad. Because we, we're going to have to go. There's two things that we're going to have to do. We're going to have to go back to Philly. There's going to be some mess that's going on that we're going to have to go back to Philly. And number two, we have got to get a backstory on Jeffrey. Um, I think um, 
my predictions for on Jeffrey is he's coming back. Uncle Phil is going to hire him back because he's going to need help. He's going to need help with Hillary and her, her, her boondoggle with Kylo because I think Kylo is coming back. There's something about Kylo that makes me believe that he has uh, an interest in Hillary beyond money. And I think there's going to be some sort of entanglement with there. And that's going to be the, the triangle between Hillary, Jazz, and Kylo. I think that there's going to be something going on there. Because um, Kylo just gives me that sleaze type, type situation. I think that's going to happen. That's that's one of my predictions, I guess, for the season, for the next season. Um, my my predictions for Lisa and Will is just this. Uh, Lisa got on my nerves this last episode because you sat up here and you get mad at him because he does not tell you everything. And because you chose to tell him everything and then uh, dropped it low for Jesus... Now you mad? You gonna stay mad. Because you should have learned him uh, longer than what you did. You were just so enthralled by his good looks and his all this other stuff. You should have learned him. You should have took should have taken the time to get to know who he was instead of just being so uh, in, enthralled by his looks and, and his swag. Uh, I'm sorry. And but for you getting upset because he didn't tell you everything, I'm sorry, but you you really weren't um y'all weren't in it deep enough for him to tell you his life story. Just because you told him your life story doesn't mean that he was supposed to reciprocate. You should have allowed your relationship to go a little bit further. I I still see that Lisa and Will are gonna be in a relationship, but I don't think it's going to be as um hot and heavy. As it was. But I do see that him and Lisa are going to be in a relationship. And I also predict for the next season. That it's going to be some situation where Lisa may be pregnant. That's just the way I think about that. Because you know what? Lisa almost. Almost. Because Will hit me. Uh. Getting on my nerve for dating Lisa, even though he know his cousin was dating him. And you know, uh, if y'all followed me on um, Our Kind of People, go check out my playlist of Our Kind of People. And you will find out how I did not like that Taylor girl. Uh, will is on that same list. You know, I don't like Will for all this stuff going on. However, since he talked with Carlton and Carlton said, do what you need. You know, if you want to date her, just don't hurt her. That's fine. So I I'm going to throw my hands up on that, but Lisa honey, you you about to get on my you about to get on my bad side cuz you 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 acting crazy. Aunt Viv, oh, what do I think about Aunt Viv? I think Aunt Viv and Uncle Phil are going to be tight, but I if Reed comes back, I do believe Reed is going to try Aunt Viv. He's going to catch her at a moment of vulnerability and he is going to try Aunt Viv. And I just believe that Uncle Phil is going to crush him. Uh, what's, what's that video game? Finish him. <laughs> Uncle Phil's going to finish him. Um, Uncle Phil is going, to, is, is going to be going through a little crisis, I believe. Uncle Phil is going to, uh, going to rethink... Um, What's going on in his life. He is going to. I do believe he's going to spend more time with his children. I do believe he is going to. And what I mean by he's going to be more in depth with them. And find out some things. And this is where I believe he is going to find out that Carlton is not as stable as he believed for him to be. Um, he is going to find out that Carlton is. And I told y'all that Carlton was on that cocaine I told you he was on that booger sugar, but y'all kept telling me just because he was telling everybody he was snorting that Xanax. I'm like, no, nah, player, because mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. So Carlton's drug addiction, I think, is going to play high uh, next season. 
Uh, my last prediction for next season. Uh, I talked about Hillary, Jazz, Carlton, child, Polo, Miss Ashley. Ashley's gonna come out next season. Uh, and I hope they have some. I and and that's fine, but I do hope that they have things going on with Ashley that are going on with her age other things besides the fact that she's going to come out not to say that that's not monumental and we shouldn't um explore that because it would be interesting to see it from that perspective and that point of view but i also would love to see ashley uh in school i'd like to see ashley interact with her friends i'd like to see ashley um interact with her parents and maybe start a uh uh, uh you know at that age a, a, a slightly rebellious stage there's so much more that they can do with Ashley that I would love to see in the next season <sighs> I'm sad to see it end because it means it's not going to come back who oh, child it's not going to come back to like next uh, uh, March that's a whole year child I don't know what we're going to do but anyway so those are my predictions for the next year. What's going to come up season 10? We're going to see Uncle Phil go through. I, I think it's going to be a little sight depression because this is the one thing that he has been, uh, uh, his ambition, uh, but his family life has caused for his, in the, uh, his ambitions to be stalled. So it's going to be, I think we're going to see Uncle Phil, um, though he's going to be uh, loving and have that man energy, I think that he is going to be laser focused on Will, he's going to be laser focused on Carlton, he's going to be laser focused on Hillary, um, and I hope he's just as laser focused on Ashley. Um, I think in the next season, I mean, not the next season, but the next episode, because this, this judge who outed him, I don't think this judge, I think somewhere in between here that this judge is going to die, which is going to leave his judgeship open. And, um, I think that Phil is going to be tapped for that. So, um... I think that this is going to be a good avenue for Phil. But the only thing is, it's not going to make him as much money. I, maybe he'll get a court case or something like that um, in conjunction with the judge dying next next episode that uh, will solidify him to being able to be a, to, to be a judge. Um, I see Jeffrey coming back toward the end of the episode. I think... Um, Aunt Vivian and the kids are going to be instrumental in getting Jeffrey to come back. Because one of the things that I've mentioned, you remember when Hillary uh, mentioned that she was staying in a hotel in a bungalow? I think she's going to meet up with Jeffrey somewhere in there. And I think uh, she is going to talk with Jeffrey and Jeffrey is going to confide in, not really confide, but he's going to mention that, you know, Uncle Phil let him go and she's going to talk to Uncle Phil because you know she's honeybee she's going to talk to Uncle Phil and she's going to get Jeffrey to come He, she's going to be instrumental for getting Jeffrey to come back and I think he's going to be instrumental in getting Hillary to move back into the house um we're going to see Aunt Viv struggle with this fellowship, you know, making sure that she has enough artwork, making sure she has enough things so that she can put her best foot forward. And she is going to lean on Reed more so than she's going to lead on Uncle Phil. And that's going to cause some issues and um, some trust issues for Uncle Phil with Aunt Viv. Um, I don't think Aunt Viv is going to... Um, <clears throat> do anything but uh we'll never know <laughs> well we'll know next next episode and we'll know next season because we are going to because uh she's going to end up pregnant because you know she's got to have a little nikki 
little Nick around there. So she's going to end up pregnant and we're going to figure out who, maybe there's going to be an instance where we have to figure out where the baby, well, not in Aunt Vivian's mind. She's going to know that the baby is Uncle Phil's, but Uncle Phil is going to have some reservations um, whether or not that this baby is his just because of some incidents that he sees on Viv and Uncle and Uncle Phil. I mean, Lord. He is going to witness some incidents, some intimate incidents between Reed and Aunt Viv. Not sexual, but intimate, which would make him believe that possibly that she could have um, tiptoed through the tulips over there with a uh, uh, old light skin. But y'all, that's it. I didn't want to keep you all along. I just wanted to drop this video to let you know what my predictions are going to be for next season. Uh, also, to just let you know what my predictions are going to be for this next episode. I know it probably was jumbled. But drop down in the comments what you think is going to happen. Um, I know some of you all have been commenting and giving some of your predictions. But, you know, I know that a lot of you have watched my videos. And I know you have been watching Bel Air. So drop that down in the comments. And as always, people, bye-bye.